Good day to you, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Oh. Fred of Asgarnia here, wondering why Henry II wants to kill this turbulent priest! Who shall rid me of this turbulent priest? Oh, no, I didn't want you to kill him! Ah, oh, God, you stupid... Okay, 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 okay. Come now. Right, so, as I recall, we were now plotting a war against the Scots, while trying not to have the lag destroy us. Now, as it stands, I think we should be trying to build up our army. I review the footage, and apparently the Radier I was training it was supposed to be in trim. Strange. Okay, we'll get an army together anyhow. We should have a biggish army on, on the way. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's our Radier. Okay. You. And you. I want a battery of siege artillery, mind you. Captain Don. Deal with them! That'll learn them. Okay, we get the point. Okay. Do we have trade rights with Wales? I just, I feel that if we could just strengthen... I think we do have trade rights with mo with just about everybody. I guess, while we're at peace, we could try to... You know what, we might do that. Where is our diplomat? I know I had a diplomat around here somewhere. Something of Tipperary. Kildare, sorry. And you, Mercad, will join the army here. Basically, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get all our forces together and then hit the Scots with one... Oh, never mind. Trade rights. What say you? Well, I can live with that. Oh. Excellent. So now that we have trade rights, you know, now that we've established uh, commerce and trade, that should benefit us, in that we should start making a little bit more money. And in case you haven't noticed, that is something which we are in dire need of. Okay, we're making, we're making a small profit. It's not really significant enough, though, to start celebrating about. Yep, we're broke. Ah, oh, bugger. And we've lost another loyal merchant, but I think we... Oh, great, a 40-year-old merchant. Okay, uh, well, you'll do. That'll do. Opening a new trade lane, sire. Opening a new trade lane, sire. God, but he is camp. Make no mistake, I have nothing against uh, against gay people. Nothing whatsoever. I spent half my life being accused of being gay, so I would have nothing against gay people. But by God, he is stereotypically camp. Okay. So I want a bit of siege artillery. No. No. Just no. Of course, I haven't got the money for anything, so... That's not really an option right now. Aye, sir. Captain Colin, why aren't you in the city? Aye. Uh... That's in our land, but yet it's still Scottish. Riddle me that one. Alright, Colin, just... Guard the bridge. Or go to Stirling. Could use the garrison. Okay, never mind, you're redundant. Aye, farewell. Okay, you there. Get over to... Okay, we'll make you a little... Okay, I want the siege artillery. The Galaglia. If this lag starts up again... Okay. That should do. And then you can head to Perth. We have some siege artillery, so if we do attack Aberdeen... Trouble is... He doesn't have much cavalry himself, but a bit of cavalry... If we had a bit of cavalry, it would help. We've only got one regiment. That's not much. Uh, Edinburgh, not happy at all. What was it ever? It's Edinburgh, for God's sake. They're never happy. Never. A little pause. Might make us a little bit more in the way of money. 
Just deal with him. He's annoying me. Two men. Surprised we lost even that. At least substantial. Faction. England! What? England! England's gone! Jesus. Well, they weren't destroyed in battle. I got map information a couple of turns ago. There is no way they were destroyed in battle. Not unless the Welsh and everything just attacked at once. But now... <coughs> <coughs> once legitimate power, now these people are but a memory. One that will soon seem distant. All this leaves your people with one less potential obstacle on their journey to conquering the known world. It does nothing to change the fact that those who have fallen were defeated by a power other than your own. Right, this isn't good. With the destruction of the English monarchy, the Baron's Alliance has achieved its ultimate goal. Ooh. This alliance now stands as a formidable opponent to any faction who seems to claim the British Isles, Isles as their own. This is worrying. If England are gone, it likely means that a lot of their territory is disintegrated into rebel factions. And if that's the case, we're going to need to we're going to need to wipe out Scotland before they push further south. What's going on down there? Uh, I'd send these men south, only they don't want to be seen as. Hmm. Next is a strong Irish population, which is surprising. Uh, let's see. Settlement details. It does have a. Really? General ins insurgents. It's nothing new. Didn't realize there were even rebels in the area. If we were going to attack, now would be a good time, I think. Because if the Scots. If the Scots push any further south, we're going to be in a lot of trouble very quickly. I wanted siege artillery, but I'm sure we can get some when we actually get to... Oh, damn it, my headphones have gone. Right. Next turn... Where to go? We'll need to plot this attack strategically. I think we'll land them here at Carlisle. Take Carlisle. <sighs> Headphones. Stop doing this to me. Why you do this? Right. So what we might do then is we'll send him... We'll, take, we'll send this land to take Aberdeen. Get the army of Mull maybe together. Because there is quite a substantial force there in Mull. So... Yeah, two of these. One of these. Get them together. And I think we had someone called Art the Wrathful in Stunstaffage. Was it? Yeah, he's 50. So if we get him together with some men from Stirling, we'll push him south to take Newcastle. That'll leave the Scots with only Dumfries and Aaron. We can win this. We can win this. It shouldn't be... They're not tricky cities to take, either. It's just these little... It's these pockets of resistance that are going to cause us trouble. We'll see how things play out. Edinburgh, not happy. We could lose that city very quickly, actually, unless we do something about it. Uh, no, changing the build policy isn't doing anything. I could recruit some more soldiers, but I don't think that's going to... We could have another Scottish city in our back door. Do we have a spy? Sometimes they can help. Somehow, sometimes, anyway, they can prevent... They can stop public order issues. Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know whether they'll manage it this time, but sometimes they can. Yes, oh, God. Of course, sir. No, the rebels. Okay, the rebel forts. Yes, but the Scots still have a potent army. Admiral Sean is dead. Okay. Anywhere we can land these troops, they're not going to get killed by pirates. And did my... I'm just going to say, didn't I have men on board? Or I'd land them here. 
and get him to join up with Admiral Donald. And you? Oh, you're a Gunhulk! Well then, join up with the fleet. I didn't think we had a Gunhulk there. Okay. So they do... Their army is not to be... It's not something to be sneezed at. Ah, get a mortar. See what it does. To Perth. Oh, Edinburgh stopped rioting. That's good. That's good. Uh, we're not making a whole lot. He was stalled again, but there's not much we can do. Okay, where's that, uh, where's that? Wasn't it Carlisle I said I'd send them to? Dumfries can wait. It's a small garrison at best. I'll take Carlisle. Hmm. Alright, well, move some men out of Aberdeen. I Lord. I sire. I sire. On board. That'll do him today, sire. Something to investigate. What is this? A King Lachlan. My respects to you, your majesty. It's not too bad. I reckon we could beat that. Some cavalry would help, but we'll manage without us. We'll survive without the cavalry. We can live without us. I mean, this army should be enough to break whatever they have, and I'm happy enough with that. Right, let's see what happens. Carlisle. Still ill-defended. Oh, good. The English... Tipperary. Tipperary. Okay. Right. Edinburgh, well, that's not surprising. They're Scottish. There's nothing you can do about the bloody Scots. Okay. We had more money, but we don't. Hopefully, burning Carlisle to the ground will change that. Off the boats. No. Oh, good. A rear bolt. Just some artillery to let us attack at once. Go for it! Okay! We haven't had a battle in a while, so we're gonna have one now. Right! To battle! Thomas the Cruel versus King Lachlan of Scotland. Kill them all! Oh, I've been wanting to fight for a while. A good battle. Besides, Aberdeen, it stood too long without being slaughtered by good. I actually probably should have waited a turn for us, for the, um, for those troops outside of Carlisle to catch up. Then we could have attacked in one filled swoop. That's not going to happen, so... Not even going to wait for the speech. It'll be something about Satan's arse aching from overuse. Right, so we'll do what we always do. We'll go on... We'll come on in the same old way. You know the drill. One big column, one big battering ram. As Wellington said, they came on in the same old way and we'll beat them the same old way. Except we're the ones who are going to be doing the coming on in the same old way. Because we, I don't believe, I don't believe in diversifying tactics. What do you take me for? Just extend the line a bit. No, and I don't want my bloody general involved. No! Boggle, boggle! No, you're deploying all wrong! On the hill. I doubt they're going to come to us. Right, come on, forward! The Galagliac will assault their flank. The Highland Pikemen will act as our reserves. Sure, they're not going to be able to quite compare with the, uh... Where are the Mura? And then our cavalry will assault on this flank. What are they doing? If we can beat him here, I think. 
If we can beat him here, we'll have probably we'll have crippled Scotland's presence in the west. Or in the yeah, in the in the east. Ah, Ireland and Scotland. Two Celtic Celtic countries warring like good Celtic comrades should. <coughs> <coughs> I beg your pardon. I'm gonna cut the recording, I'll be back when we close to the enemy. Be right back. Okay, we're almost in range. Let's teach these bastards a lesson! God save Ireland! Alright, this should be interesting. But then walk! Jesus, this is a race to the tavern! If the pubs are closed, I'll kill you! Right, now attack the Pike Militia. They're heavy infantry, so they should be able to break... Ah, uh, this won't be tough. Quite the contrary, actually. We should just break through them like a battering ram. They are not bringing honor just to the front line. Nobody's that crazy. No, you're wasting it. You're supposed to attack all at once in the same position. Oh, jeez, this is going to be bloody. And then militia support them. Cavalry, we have them by the balls, so kick them in the ass. And second, I'll move them up here. I thought we might actually do better on that flank, but apparently not. This isn't going half as well as I thought it would. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go. Broken the center. Pikeman, move up to support the right. Oh, excellent, we broke them. Now you assault the center. Charge! There we go. We came on the same old way, and we threw them back the same old way. Highland Pikeman, see what you can do about these General's bodyguards. You, get over here and deal with that General's bodyguard. You, get out of there, I don't want you dying. You lot, press the attack. Gargle bargle. That'll learn them. Right, now come on, press the attack, while they're running. Jesus, are they still standing? General's dead. Okay, cancel that attack, they're well ordered. In fact, charge them. Galaglia, deal with the Pike Militia. You lot! After the other pike militia. You! Oh dear! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh dear! Oh, it's okay. They're running. They're running. They're running away. Press the attack. Press the attack. Ooh, 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 that was close. See, I've said it once and I'll say it again. One thing you don't do. Get cavalry to charge into spears. It's a terrible idea. Right. Well. Stand not upon the order of their leaving. Where's the cavalry? Uh, get the Pike Militia. Why not? No, get the heavy Pike Militia. Because they're the ones who are really going to cause us bother. Except a lot of them got away, which I'm not really happy about. Who's left? I was going to say, who's left? Well, that's that's the Scots. That's That's that army dealt with. Another easy victory. Although, I think we paid heavily for it. 
We played most foully for us. There we go. Well, that could have gone worse. I think you'll agree. Well, I think you'll agree. Whether you will or not is another story. Well, just stand there. Kill them. Jeez, ten of them left. This is the only thing. That tactic is strong. You know, just throwing a huge column against them. But you tend to suffer fairly... Those pikes didn't even take a single casualty. Run them down, boys! Run them down! It's treat! Never thought I'd hear that from a Scotsman. Well, chop them up to little mince... Little, little bits. This is the only thing. We didn't really have enough cavalry. If we had more, this battle would have been a lot easier. Field artillery is mostly worthless unless you're actually assaulting a, um... Assaulting a castle. Who's left? What poor son of a bitch is left? Someone... He's gone. We'll flush him out then, by God. He's here. Probably just... Oh, there. I see him. Mortar. Do you have any idea how tricky this would be without a radar? Okay, they'll probably get away. Our cavalry is... No, it's only winded. But they'll get away anyhow. Heavy cavalry, they're great for holding a charge, but they're not really great for chasing... All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. Not bad, a hundred casualties. I actually thought we'd take more than that. Excellent! Excellent, excellent. A certain bloody man who had been chief of brigands in Scotland. So, that's the Scottish army here broken. No Whoa! We captured their faction leader. This is worth 15,000. We're gonna ransom him. Right. I'm no longer needed to kill him because I killed him in battle. Okay, and we have fresh troops coming to support us. Maintain the siege. Okay, I'm not gonna fight this out. I'm just gonna save us. Oh, quick save us. And... Clear victory! There we go, and Aberdeen is ours. Right, so the whole west, the east of Scotland is ours. And uh, put him in here. I think prototype handgun. Well, apparently, when you put um, apparently putting a um, a spy into your city or an assassin, it actually protects it against other assassins. So, what we're going to do is we need to meld some of these Ulster Swordsmen because they've really, really badly bloodied. So, you can go here. Uh, get this. You lot get in here. Get him a belly. Get him a belly. Field artillery we have plenty of, so we can get rid of these mortars. Disband. Disband the mortars. Okay, so Aberdeen is ours. This is good. We still have trouble in Edinburgh. Scots aren't happy with us, and I don't see why they would be, honestly. Meanwhile, we have Kian of Cork here about to attack Carlisle. Now, the trouble is, I, with that, I am pretty bloody sure they had another army down here. Now, if we're lucky, they might have tried to push south and deal with the rebels. But, that might mean they'll divert, they'll divert it north. So now I'll get an army together in Stirling. You know, while we have money money to burn. Now, uh, let's see. We had an army in Mull, didn't we? So, you, get over here. You lost. I'm pretty sure this should be largely Irish at this stage. I hope. Correct me if I'm wrong. It should be. Right, get him on board. Land him here. The fight is where I tell you. And you, right now, are going to march to... Newcastle upon Tyne, and you'll be supported by troops from Stirling. Meanwhile, Aaron is sort of cut off, so that's not really an issue. Yeah, I think, and you know, I actually think we could win this war. We, the war, the end of the war is in sight. Were they really mad enough to try to attack? Well, I suppose they are Scots. 
I never said the Scots were sensible. Nor did anybody else for that matter. Only concern is they may launch a maritime invasion. If that happens, we could be up shit creek without a paddle. But right now, I think we've done quite well. We've taken Aberdeen off the Scots. Uh, right now, we stand on the verge of taking Carlisle, I think. And then we might get Newcastle upon Tyne. Once the Scots have been exterminated, I think we'll be fine. I don't... Like, most of England is now rebel territory. So that's not going to be a problem. Norway might be the only immediate threat. So we could take a couple of turns to consolidate. So how are we doing? We have 153 turns, and we control 16 regions. We need 35. So as it is, we actually control half of the half of what we need. We control half of the, the regions what we need. We control half of what we need. There about. We have 16 regions. <coughs> now I reckon if we focus our war against, you know, the war against Norway will do quite well. Then we can push south into England. So I've got to cut the recording. I think we've done on more than one session than we've done in quite a while. So this has been Fred of Asgarnia. Insane as always, and I'm signing off.